Hey there, Taurus. What's up? Jackie here. Uh, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, and Venus. Astro sexy placements in your chart. Taurus, your energy looks amazing, first off. Um, so we have out of the sexual, or not the nice, this is the sexual self-care deck. Out of the sex tarot magic deck, we have the world, which is you showing up in your fucking power, Taurus. The world is fixed time energy. So this is Taurus, um, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio. So you are just showing up up in a major success with closing out a huge cycle here. This wreath represents abundance. I feel like a lot of you are going to have sexual abundance coming in and things are just going to rock your world is what this is showing me overall out of relationships, out of sex, out of intimacy, which I love so much for you, Taurus. 27, breaking down to a nine, Saggy season is here. Maybe you have lots and lots of dates planned, boo, but make sure you are also prioritizing you, Taurus, okay? Uh, make sure that you're focused focusing on being with yourself during this time, practicing solo intimacy, solo sexual self-care, intimacy, pleasure, love, um, different types of things that could be really good for you during this time. And understanding that pleasure is powerful and prioritizing just being with yourself and also slowing down. Um, out of the Oracle deck, we have a deeper world, which I love because you got the world card here, which just shows me double confirmation. You could be hearing world, you know, in a song and, you know, different type of reads here um, on YouTube, whatever it may be. But there is something about the word world like that is just coming up so significantly for you. So it's like if you could do anything in this world, what would it be? Maybe sexually, if you could change things um, with your sex life, what would it be or whatever? If you could do anything in this world when it comes to relationships, what would it be? Right. So maybe some of you need to really reflect deeper on your inner world, your sexuality, identity, maybe who you are in this lifetime, in this world, at your current state and also put yourself out there. This also, excuse me, throat chakra hiccup here. Maybe you need to work on your throat chakra. You're overactive um, and need to slow down and get grounded. But this says, don't push or force your way through life. Finding balance, even in dark times, will open your heart to the depth of compassion everyday moments. So a lot of you need to be practicing self-compassion, maybe even putting your hand on your heart and taking some deep breaths, not having to rush the process of life and feeling like, I just got to do this. I got to go, 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 go. No, spirit is literally saying, slow down, Taurus, okay? And it's like, this will be successful when you slow down with yourself, when you slow down with others too. Out of the Realist Buck Relationship deck, you got two cards. So maybe 22 is significant to you. Um, tell me in the comments below, maybe you've been seeing 22, but we have in-laws and extended family conflicts coming out. Relationships, family and friends is showing up as well as green flags, good news. Um, so we'll clarify those because they popped out and um, we may shuffle out another one for you overall, but we are going to shuffle out the sexual self-care, but a lot of you do need to be working on your relationships during this time with friends and family. I feel like Taurus, some people need you to reach out to them or you are needing more people to reach out to you during this time, flip that energy and reverse it. I feel like there's a lot of repair work that potentially needs to be done in relationships with family members, with friends, with partners, with a spouse, with whomever that might be. And the green flag is it's like good news is going to happen. Like things are going to be repaired. Things are going to feel better once that is done. So whoever that is for. So sexual self-care card. First card out, we have dance. So maybe a lot of you are needing to move your body, kind of have some fun. No, shut up. Body care is coming out overall. Um, so we have dance, move your body, get the happy chemicals in your brain going, closeness with yourself or partners, embodiment. You might be a tease. You may be really confident, need to work on your sexual confidence. There's body care too. Feeling sexy and happy in your body as well here. Doing some things that just feel really good. Painful sex is really coming out in the overall collective for these sexual energy reads right now. So painful sex is not normal if it's not consensual, meaning if you like spanking, whipping, whatever it may be, and you're like, damn, that feels good. I love painful, kinky sex. Cool. If it's to the point of like, ow, this is hurting me. This doesn't feel natural in my body. That is not normal. So some of you need to be aware of injury during this time. You may need to be speaking to a doctor, a pelvic pain, a physical therapist, or even seeking out sex therapy for this. Some of you may have a foot fetish. Nice, 44, heart-centered space. And some of you may be exploring this a little bit more. Maybe with a Pisces here, you could have Pisces in your chart. They rule the feet specifically. Um, but this says an object, body part, or behavior that has to happen during sex. This could be an epiphany. This could also be achieving you arousal for you in the of 104. 
four, which is solo foreplay, which is kind of what we talked about, like with focusing in on your own solo sexual self care, understanding arousal, vocal cues. Maybe some of you re are reading um, smut right now, wanting dirty talk or erotica. You may need some visual cues with slowing down, sex or videos. And some of you are needing to wash your <coughs> sheets during this time excuse me um uh, make sure you're drinking water <laughs> right now or during sex after sex no so i don't care drink your water because that's coming up clearly and some of you need to work on sex positivity like how sex positive are you is there any secret judgment or gossip that's having coming around you are there any sexual repair attempts nice talked about repair attempts um whether or not that's related to you know family conflict sex whatever like you know we'll talk about it so let's clarify main one let's clarify is painful sex what's going Going on here for Taurus death card something happened during Scorpio season or maybe um this was with the Scorpio wheel of fortune in the reverse there was some sort of painful sex that maybe you had um uh, they're telling me surgery this is not a health read by any means or ways I'm just intuiting the information that's showing up it's like maybe some of you had surgery um around or on your genitals or inside of um your what's it called reproductive system inside of your body and then wheel of fortune in the reverse it's like you have to rest a little bit but maybe it's taking some more time and energy to actually heal after that don't know who that's for maybe it's something where you had some sort of surgery and it's gonna hurt a little bit more uh during sex and don't know why there could be some need to focus in on some different types of things with this ace of wands you might be delaying having any type of penetrative sex here with the partner you may not enjoy it maybe that's just it overall empress and the upright some of you might be getting pregnant here too and there this might have just also been delays so for some of you this is showing me like delays in pregnancy um and this is also towards your energy as well as libra's energy too um some of you maybe can't have children anymore don't want children anymore um maybe some of you are just really trying to rekindle and re-spark sexual libido in a relationship with a partner partner spouse whatever and trying to explore that a little bit more and their attempts have been like maybe they've been blocking this a little bit maybe a partner partner spouse can't have sex anymore experience chronic pain or um any sort of like medical disease or disorder maybe you experience that too and this is where it's like you need to show up in your own solo sexual self-care boot and really focus on some of this stuff overall um this is something where yeah like solo foreplay is coming out tell me about solo foreplay like it came out for a reason. Page of Cups in the reverse. You might be frustrated with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Burnt out on the idea of maybe trying to bid for sex. And Eight of Swords, like moving on and away from doing this. Maybe you stopped initiating sex here. And that's why you may need to, yeah. All these cards are in the reverse. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands. They're like, I'm too busy to have sex here. Making excuses. Um, maybe don't want to have sex anymore at where they're at in life. And maybe this hurts you. Yeah. But there's some sort of happiness to be set bound with your own solo foreplay, Taurus. So it's like, you need to be able to understand your own arousal, your own desires. Here, vocal cues to visual cues. Slow down on what you want and explore that a little bit more, be it with sex toys, be it with videos, be it with um, reading books, be it with different types of things. Um, we have sex positivity at the bottom and we have five of wands right here. So this is someone who may be watching you, maybe competing for you, fine for your attention here. Someone might, like an ex might try to come back in and repair something with you sexually, emotionally. This could also be an apology just in general for relationships um, in life or maybe this is someone who said something about your sex life with them a partner and they are trying to like they're gonna come yeah <laughs> like I said there's gonna be a message someone's gonna come here and try to talk to you about it so it's like a past friend or a lover here um in the reverse and queen of pentacles here it's like nope they don't get my time energy and effort and I'm moving on you could also have Aquarius in your chart and move away from this snakes could be very significant for you right now um really shedding of the skin and rebirth and transformation following your intuition with that um ten of cups in the reverse here it's like 
you're not getting what you want sexually and you don't feel like you are fulfilled. And Knight of Wands moving forward, you're like, well, if someone doesn't want to sexually fulfill me, I'm going to sexually fulfill me. Or there's going to be a message of a new partner or whatever it may be coming in for you, uh, Taurus here. Six of Swords in the upright. You may be staying around this person for too long. You might have been contemplating a breakup, but you just feel stuck in it. Four of Swords, whatever this dynamic is, it's like you need to give it a rest here. Uh, maybe your partner, partner spouse doesn't want to have sex anymore. Maybe um you have to figure out how do we move together in this and maybe create some sort of contract here four of wands in the upright maybe this was a partner where um you know it's in your home space your place and also celebrating maybe you've been married to them for a while death in the upright someone's going to be potentially getting a divorce or maybe this is a dynamic that really you know death in the upright is also that growth and rebirth and transformation maybe you're rebirthing and rekindling your sex life overall and that's a priority for you and you want to tell a partner boo you know, sex gear showing up for you overall we have refill your supply aftercare items batteries condoms lube sex toys or anything else you may want okay and then we also have reflections you're really thinking about what you want with sex and how sex has changed what's missing shut up what did i say some of y'all are gonna be looking into polyamory potentially opening up maybe a triad a quad a fourth whatever that might be whoever that is for and physical health picked up on that right there um there might be some different types of genetic biological factors can be important to see a pelvic pain uh, PT for some of you out there check in um overall a lot of you could be really good to just eye gaze with your partner and slow down and do an exercise with that too of just taking some time to silence phones technology and make sure that you're giving and receiving of the eyes overall with that person um whoo we got another one that just already popped out so we have laid and betrayed, third party, not so haughty. And then we have rationalization here. Behaviors, patterns, actions, not owning it. Someone is people pleasing this relationship because they don't want to lose you clingy. So they're just saying what they want to say, but they don't mean it. <sighs> Tell me about in-laws and extended family conflicts. Five of cups in the reverse. You're really upset and depressed about a situation because someone had emotionally hurt you and you're moving on. Six of swords in the upright chariot. This could be with a cancer here. Um, you could have cancer in your chart. Um, cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is something where it's like five of cups in the reverse. It's like this has been a long time coming to decide to move on and away from the situation. Um, this is someone six of swords in the reverse. You're like, you see past this bullshit towards you're like i'm over it i'm done like i'm not taking this um emotional abuse or this excuse here flip it in reverse you could be emotionally abusing um a cancer in your life here that could be coming up and they could just be like i'm gonna move away from this and i'm over it you also might be moving into something together where you're talking about this and there is a success that comes out of it six of wands in the upright um and really taking some time and energy with this overall. Tell me about laid and betrayed here. What's going on? Ace of swords in the reverse. Someone's withholding back some sort of information from you, Taurus. Cheating on you. Eight of swords. It's coming to light. And knight of cups from a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could have been an ex that's trying to come back and tell you that your current partner cheated on you. That's fucked up i don't think i've ever said that in any read wow sometimes i don't realize what i say and then i hear it and i'm like what so this is giving me like someone's lying to you in a situation telling you that like oh your current partner or spouse whatever they cheated on you and you're like the fuck they did <laughs> um yeah this person wants to cause chaos in your life five of swords in the reverse it's like they're lying to manipulate you overall page of cups because they're acting childish because they can't have you like i can't have taurus so nobody can and they're being abusive. King of Wands in the reverse here. They could have physically abused you, uh, sexually abused you. Yup, definitely. Leo and Devil card is coming up overall. This is literally showing me like... I don't like to use this word I mean, um, that at all because it's such a buzzword nowadays. But just disclaimer like I don't typically always say this this really just shows me like narcissistic tendencies like someone is just trying to be 
physically abusive, emotionally abusive, sexually abusive, and then claim victim to it and be very devilish of this. Um, this is also giving me a distorted divine masculine energy. So not a man, just masculine energy of like, I'm just going to go to my grave till the day I fucking die with this narrative. This is also telling me that like maybe there was some past with laden betrayed maybe a past trauma with somebody that came up someone that wanted to cause you chaos someone that wanted to cause you conflict emotionally sexually physically and they were very 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 abusive this could have happened during childhood too there could have been also like a child that was lost in the situation i'm so sorry forever needs to hear that yeah, four of pentacles in the reverse. Someone's really heartbroken here and you're working on your healing because you have 10 of pentacles in the upright overall. You have four of pentacles in the reverse. It's like someone was very greedy, took advantage of you. Uh, this is that third party, three of swords, some sort of, um, you know, some sort of like affair that had happened or, and it doesn't have to be just sexual. This could be sexual affair, emotional affair, financial affair, um, Depends on your boundaries in your relationship and your boundaries for yourself. Physical affair. Are you able to do different types of physical things like that aren't sexual? Ten of Pentacles, though. You're working on this. And Ace of Cups. There's going to be new messages of better people that are emotionally stable in your life and opportunities. Tell me about rationalization. Yep, King of Swords in the reverse. Like, this is that distorted divine masculine energy. Someone who's lying to you, manipulating you, and you're so sick of this. You're like, I'm burnt out of this cycle. I'm over it. I'm leaving here. Now, you might also be doing this too, Taurus. So, whoever this is for, I don't know. Ten of Cups. But when you choose, 10-10, ten, ten, when you choose yourself, you're closing out a major cycle. This is someone that you had nostalgia with from childhood, friend, family member, loved one. Someone that is really just needing to be held accountable here. Seven of Cups. Yep, you're not seeing through their delusions and their bullshit. And two of swords in the reverse, you are making the decision to cut this off. And this could be a Scorpio too. And this is something where you had to people please this person as a trauma response, maybe because this person was not safe to be around emotionally. Yeah. And you know this, Eight of Cups, you're moving on to better people in your life and attracting better people. Overall energy, Knight of Pentacles, you have people that are solid, sturdy, stable coming into your energies. And King of Cups, people that are emotionally nurturing. Damn, Taurus! <laughs> Don't mean to laugh, but just like, woo! What's going on for y'all? It's like family drama, problems. Yeah, Four of Wands in the reverse is like wedding, the home. Oh, it's like family extended conflict shit. Empress and the upright showing up in your fucking power. You need to stand your ground. You need to set boundaries in a shameless way. Trust your intuition. Learn on how to develop your intuition more. Don't gaslight your emotions, your feelings, what's going on in your body during this time. Eight of Cups, you are just definitely going to be moving away from whatever the situation is. Okay, Taurus, tell me what you got going on in the comments below because this is just wild here. Top of the deck, we've asked for more needing, more effort in this relationship. Express yourself. I think that came out in Libra's read. We have someone who has a silent treatment to manipulate you and it's conflictual. Uh, celibacy, choosing choice, choosing, choosing you. Some of you need to not have sex right now during this time and you're doing it for your body or yourself or your health or whatever it might be your wellness communicate comprehend and clarify situations get all the details so i hate it when people say communication is key and then i hate when people say comprehension is key and i'm like no it's also clarification because we don't just know what people mean when they speak these words into existence for example if someone is saying like oh i really like it when i'm in the frogger position during sex it's like which one's that again? <laughs> There's like 365 plus different types of sex positions out there. And it's like, what does that mean? Can you clarify that to me? Can you point it out? Can you draw it? Can you show me a picture? Because I don't know what that means, right? And then it's implementation. Because if you communicate, cool. If you comprehend, cool. But if you, and then if you clarify, cool. But if you don't actually implement like what things that your partner, partner, spouse or family members or whomever it might be with all these relationships and stuff that we have in our lives, if we don't actually implement those three first steps, then what's the point? 
you know, it's not just communicating to listen, it's communicating to take action. It's not just comprehending to know, it's comprehending to take action. It's not just clarifying to know, it's clarifying to take action. Because if you love and care about someone so much and you've told them multiple times and you're like, well, they're not comprehending or they're not clarifying or they're not taking action, it, that's really what it funnels down to. So I don't know who needs to hear it that. Uh, someone has a wall up right now. They're not ready to be vulnerable. I feel like there's a lot of shame that you've endured, Taurus, and or flip it in reverse. It's something that has been coming up in the overall collective energy during this time. Maybe someone has shamed you. Maybe you've shamed other people. And maybe this is something where it may take some time for you to be vulnerable too. So just pay attention to that. Um, again, work on trusting your intuition, your emotions, your body, everything that is coming up overall. Cut the people off that you need to and maybe rebuild. It's a rebirth and a big transformation to be able to get what you want in life right now. This is you. Like it's a whole new world it's like that aladdin song is that aladdin and you know what taurus you are one of one of a kind if you want to know what bears mean tell me below i feel like this came out in your last read i don't remember though from the moment you emerged into this world third confirmation world you have had extraordinary talents you understand that starlight animal voices and all things are magical okay so speak your truth sing your voice sing that song funny how it's just singing <laughs> it's in the card um speak up and use your voice, you know, authentically in sex and all relationships and whatever it is that you're doing out there, Taurus, okay? Um, pay attention to the signs, the world, the synchronicity. Um, this is something brand new that is happening for you. And as always, Taurus, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel here. 87% of y'all are not subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscribe button with all the notification bells on. Please, please, please. That helps my channel grow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all your support too and tell me what you got going on in the comments below boo okay stay tuned for more and stay shameless